It's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BCEI. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I have done this analysis before, but it's been I think about a week or so. Uh, but the nice thing about my chart provider eSignal is whenever I put up annotations, no matter how much later I come back to look at a chart, you know, the lines and such are still there. So um, as far as that's concerned, you know, definitely these lines are all still in play. Uh, a little house cleaning though, I am going to get rid of this line here. Uh, just because from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to have a million lines of where that can cause clutter and confusion. So we'll try to keep this as clean as possible. So we'll first start with levels of support. The ideal level of support going forward, I mean, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the, the healthiest, you know, the best possible going forward? All revolves around the purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. Uh, meaning as long as the price and as if the price can stay above that purple line, then that is truly going to make the chart look as healthy as possible and as attractive as possible. Now, if the price does break below it, I'm not sitting here saying that everything's totally ruined or anything like that, but that would certainly be the ideal level. The next level to keep an eye on would be $2.60, which is that green line right there. And that level is important just because from the big picture of things, that would still keep the bulls well in control, meaning let's say the price does head down there, bounces around and then heads back up. Even at that point in time, you know, where would this set of lows be? Well, this big base of lows would be right here. Where's the previous big base of lows at? Well, down here. So if you picture each of these as big overall stair steps, well, hey, the stair steps are still progressing in the upward direction. So uh, I'm not saying the price is headed down to 260, but you know, even if the price, like it says, does fall below the, the 50 period simple moving average, you know, there's still other areas of support, um, you know, from the big picture perspective. Now, like I said, if you're a day trader and you bought right there and you wanted to sell within 10 seconds, then yeah, for you, of course, you don't wanna see the price going down to 260, but I'm talking about from, again, the overall perspective. In regards to levels of resistance, very straightforward, still all about the 320 mark. You know, I, I mapped this one out, like I said, the last time I did the video, whenever that was, and you can see today, did temporarily break above it, but that didn't last very long and the price snapped back below it. So for whatever reason, uh, 320 is kind of being a thorn in the side of the bulls right now, but that'll be uh, the, the key resistance going into next week. No doubt about it though, nice way to end the week here. So we'll see uh, if the momentum can carry into next week or not. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.